Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam using Macaulay's method. We have to draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. Then we have to find the maximum deflection. EI is given as 8000 kN meter square. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter and it is acting in the left half span. The total length of the beam is 8 meter. In this beam, in the point A, we have to find the vertical reaction RA and the moment MA. And in the point B, we have to find the vertical reaction RB and the moment MB. In the Macaulay's method, we have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So, we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. You can see that I have made two sections, one in AC and one in CB. I have made both of the sections at the distance of X from the point B. Now, we are going to find the moments about the sections. I am going to find the moments from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is X. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 4. We know that with the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. This term is only applicable after the point C. So that these two terms should be separated by the dotted line. Let us equate the moment with ei d square y upon dx square. x minus 4 into x minus 4, we will get x minus 4 the whole square. Minus 6 upon 2, we will get minus 3. Let us integrate on both of the sides. When we integrate d square y upon dx square, we will get dy upon dx. For integrating these two terms, we can use this formula. And to integrate this term, we can use this formula. When we integrate minus mb, we will get minus mbx. When we integrate x, we will get x square upon 2. c1 is the constant. When we integrate x minus 4 the whole square, we will get x minus 4 the whole cube upon 3. Let us integrate this equation again on both the sides. When we integrate dy upon dx, we will get y. When we integrate x, we will get x square upon 2. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube upon 3. When we integrate c1, we will get c1x. c2 is the new constant. When we integrate x minus 4 the whole cube, we will get x minus 4 the whole power 4 upon 4. 1 upon 2 is 0 0.5. 2 into 3, we will get 6. In the point B, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, when x is 0, dy upon dx will be 0. In this equation, let us apply both of them. When we apply, we should not consider this. In this way, we will get c1, which is 0. Also, in the fixed support, there will be no deflection. So, when x is 0, the deflection y will be 0. In this equation, let us apply both of them. When we do that, we should not consider this. Finally, for C2, we will get 0. In the slope and deflection equations, let us apply the values of C1 and C2. When we do that, we will get these two equations. In the point A also, there is a fixed support. So, when x is 8, dy upon dx will be 0. In this equation, let us apply both of these. After simplifying this, 
we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Also, in the point A, there will be no deflection. So, when x is 8, y will be 0. In this equation, let us apply both of them. Finally, we will make this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now, we have made two equations. Let us take your calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator. For MB, I have got 10 kN meter. And for RB, I have got 4.5 kN. In the slope and deflection equations, let us apply the values of MB and RB. Let us keep the slope equation as number 3. And let us keep the deflection equation as number 4. We have made the slope and deflection equations. Using these two equations, we can find the slope and deflection at any point of this beam. Now, we are going to find the maximum deflection. The maximum deflection will occur anywhere in AC. So, we have to consider both of these two terms. When the deflection is maximum, the slope will be zero. Let us take the slope equation and equate that to zero. For this term, we can use A minus B the whole cube formula. Using this formula, we will get this. Then we can solve this equation using the calculator. Finally, for x, we will get 4.45 meter. In the deflection equation, let us apply the value of x. For this, we will get minus 32.9319. We know the value of EI, 8000. Finally, for y max, we will get a negative value. That means the deflection is downwards. We have found RB and MB. Now let us find RA. For that, let us use the rule sigma V is equal to 0. RA and RB are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. This UDL is acting downwards. So it will be negative. For the UDL, the distance is 4. Finally, for RA, we will get 19.5 kN. Now let us take moment about A and find MA. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally, for MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we can draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case, I have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using this rule, I have calculated the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be the maximum positive bending moment. In this point, we can make a section and find the bending moment. In that point, I have made a section at the distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, I have got 3.25 meter. Now, let us find the maximum positive bending moment. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction VA 
is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.25 the udl is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative for the udl we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2 finally for the maximum positive bending moment we agree 9.69 kN meter now let us find the bending moment in the point a in the point a we have ma which is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative to find the bending moments in the points C and B, we can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 4.5 into 4. Finally, for the bending moment at C, we are getting 8 kN meter. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. For the left side point, I have made the section at the distance of x from the point A. And for the right side point, I have made the section at a distance of x from the point B. Using the right hand side rule, we can find x which is 1.45 meter and using the left hand side rule we can find this x which is 2.22 meter let us enter both of them now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video